In only eight days, the World Cup starts. Not excited like most people in the world. But the thing is that the best team won't be playing on the first day. The best team will be playing on June 12th when they go and absolutely destroy England. That team is the United States of America. That's right. The United States in 2010 will be winning the World Cup. I mean, I know some people disagree with me and say, oh, you know, the United States, they can't do it. They, they just have never been that far. doesn't matter. They're simply the best team right now. And as we saw last year in the Confederations Cup, when they're playing really well, they're one of the elite teams in the world. Now, I'll tell you exactly why the United States is going to win. To start out, we need great players like Josie Outdoor and Dan Donovan to give a chance. We need throwing great goalkeeping and a great coach. You are the favorite, and the United States is the favorite going into the 2010 World Cup. I mean, some people disagree with me, but they're completely wrong. And the United States is going to absolutely show the world that they're finally the best team in soccer. Now, I'm going to give you a breakdown of all the United States games. First, they play England. You know, the biggest chokers in all of soccer. They always choke. They invent the game, but whenever it gets to the World Cup, they fuck up. They can't do shit. And this year's going to be no different. I mean, I know some English people think they're going to possibly contend for a World Cup. That's BS. All I should be worried about is getting out of this group because they're clearly not on the same level as the United States. The United States should probably win this game, I guess, about 3-1. You know, the United States takes the early lead in the second half. They call off the dogs and just don't try to like, pour it on the bridge because, you know, well, they kind of started us and, you know, they started our country because, you know, they colonized our, our land. Next, they play Sylvania. Sylvania's a pretty good team as well. They're ranked like 23rd in the world. It's pretty good. But, you know, they're facing the best team in the world, the United States. Uh, it'll be close for a while. The United States will, you know, have a little bit of a letdown for Whoopi in England, but the United States pulls through late and wins 2 nothing. Next, they play Algeria. A team that, quite frankly, is not on the same level as the United States. But it won't matter, because the United States is not going to be their best players. They're mostly play backups, get ready for the next round, and um, the game will be close, and I think the United States will actually tie this game uh, like 1 1. It, be, it won't matter though. It doesn't matter. Next, the United States will go to the knockout stage, round 16. They'll probably play either Australia or um, um, maybe Ghana or maybe Slovakia, but. or Serbia, my bad. Um, and it really doesn't matter. My guess is they'll play Australia. Australia, they play them uh, tomorrow actually in a, like an exhibition game. So, I mean, I don't think the United States is really going to put everything forth on uh, Friday. But, you know, I think they'll play Australia pretty well in the knockout stage when they play them. And they'll win probably 2 nothing. Australia's a pretty decent team, shockingly. I mean, you would expect them not to be that great, but they're actually pretty good. The United States wins 2 nothing in a close game. And afterwards, you know, the United States play multiple teams. Maybe Argentina, they really screw up. Maybe Mexico, maybe Greece, maybe France. My guess, though, is France, like I said. The French, unlike the British, are classy. They're cool people. The British suck. French are just great people. It'll be a close game. The France, I know they barely got in, but they're a good team. Thierry Henry, all those guys, good team. Close game. United States pulls it out, though, 2-1. Next, United States win the semis. Who will they face? Probably Brazil. Maybe Portugal. Well, Portugal, like England, they always choke. Maybe Netherlands, they're pretty good. Uh, maybe Cameroon, maybe, I don't know. Maybe Ivory Coast, they got drop on all those other guys. But I like Brazil. Because, like I said, Portugal, choke, don't bat them. They suck, like English. So United States plays Brazil. Last year they almost beat Brazil, and they had the lead on um, Confederations Cup at halftime. This year they win. No problem. It'll be a close game like the French, but they pull it out. My guess, one nothing. They score a late goal to win the game. Next, they'll probably play Spain. They're a few other teams. Maybe Italy, they're playing champs. Maybe Argentina, but they're, they, they're kind of shaky. My guess, maybe Germany, but they'll probably play Spain. I mean, they beat Spain. Last year in the Federations Cup, and this year it will be no different. And July 11th, the United States, led by Josie Altador, their goalkeeper, Landon Donovan, will be ho hosting up the World Cup trophy as they know they are the greatest soccer team in the world. And that's the bottom line, because me, Sherwood Two said so, United States, your 2010 World Cup champions. Take it to the bank, bet on it. And goodness gracious, I'm sure some stupid British people say that I'm wrong, but they'll be they'll be gone in a week when the United States kicks their 